Hola, ¿qué tal? El día de hoy les traemos una demostración de entrevista de cómo es el proceso completo desde que te llaman en la sala de espera. Esta demostración te va a ayudar a darte una idea general de cómo son todas estas entrevistas, qué pasos se van a seguir y el orden que se da. Es obvio que cada caso es diferente y el oficial puede hacer un diferente orden, pero te va a ayudar a darte una idea generalizada. Si te gustaría obtener la transcripción de esta clase para que la puedas estudiar mejor, vamos a dejar un link en la descripción de este video y también trataremos de dejarlo como primer comentario fijado para que simplemente vayas a descargar eh, esta transcripción. También si te gustaría tener ayuda en tu preparación para el proceso de ciudadanía, nosotros ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. Este curso lo puedes estudiar a tus propios ritmos, a tus propios tiempos y sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Cuentas con el apoyo de todo nuestro equipo respondiendo a tus preguntas y ayudándote en el proceso del estudio. Ofrecemos un número de WhatsApp para aquellas personas que adquieren el curso y les ayudamos constantemente a estar respondiendo estas preguntas. El curso abarca desde las preguntas cívicas, preguntas personales, N400, definiciones, prácticas para mejorar tu pronunciación en las palabras claves de la entrevista, prácticas con diferentes acentos oficiales, con diferentes acentos porque cada oficial a veces batallamos para entender puedes descargar todo el material que tenemos en el curso ya sea audios y transcripciones entonces ya sabes si te gustaría tener una mejor preparación si eres de esas personas que sufre del pensamiento desorganizado no sabe por dónde comenzar y todo lo que hay que estudiar nuestro curso te da un orden específico una didáctica íntegra para que sea más fácil este proceso de ciudadanía. Este curso lo puedes encontrar en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. Muy bien, vamos ahora a la demostración. Te recomiendo que lo escuches una y otra vez para que llegues bien preparado para el día de tu entrevista. Comencemos con la demostración. B24? Yes. B24? Yes. Hi, my name is Officer Garcia. Nice to meet you, Officer. Thank you, nice to meet you as well. Do you have your appointment letter? Yes, I do. Here it is. Okay, please follow me. How was traffic? Not too bad. That's good. This way. Okay, please step inside and remain standing. You can put your things down on the chair. Thank you. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. You can put your hand down and you can take a seat. Thank you. Do you have your ID and your permanent resident card with you? Yes, I do. Here they are. We are going to begin with the civics test. Name two national U.S. holidays. Thanksgiving and Independence Day. What is an amendment? Is an addition to the Constitution. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Mississippi. Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. Okay. Now the reading and writing. Please read the following sentence that you see on the screen in front of you. Who was the second president? Now 
you're going to write down the following sentence on the screen in front of you. Adams was the second president. What is your name? Uh, Enrique Campo. Have you used any other names in the past? Enrique Campo Guzman. What changes would you like to make to your name? I would like to keep Enrique Campo. What is your date of birth? May 26. 1986. Where were you born? In Mexico. What is your height and your weight? I'm 5 feet 11 inches, 185 pounds. What is your social security number? 543 Six seven one four twenty three. What is your phone number? Five 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 four seven two eight nine six five. Where do you currently live? Uh, forty seven sixty one Lincoln Avenue in Miami, Florida. How long have you lived at this address? For seven years. Where did you live before? Um, 6523 Washington Avenue and here in Miami, Florida too. Are either of your parents U.S. citizens? No, they are not. Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Yes. How did you become a permanent resident? My wife petitioned me. How long have you been a permanent resident? Uh, for seven years now. Okay. What do you do for work? Uh, I work in an insurance company. What is the name of the place where you work? Um, Insurance Macondo. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te está yendo con la práctica? Recuerda que te gustaría prepararte para responder una entrevista como esta. Ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. En este curso encontrarás un orden de trabajo sin interrupciones que podrás estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo ayudándote en tu preparación. Recuerda, esta página es cursosconfernando.com. Continuemos con la práctica. Mucha suerte. How many years have you been at your current job? Uh, five years. Are you married, single, divorced, or widowed? Unmarried. What is the citizenship status of your spouse? She is an American citizen. What is your spouse's full legal name? Gloria Campo. How long have you been married? For eight years. What are the amount of times that you have been married? Only one time. Were you ever divorced? No. Do you have any children? Yes, I do. How many children do you have? Two. What are the ages and the names of your children? Okay, Enrique is 10 years old and Gloria is 13 years old.
Are your children your biological children? Yes, they are. What is the last date that you traveled out of the United States? That was on November 26, 2020. How many days was this trip for? Only for five days. What date did you come back to the United States? In November 30. How many trips have you taken out of the United States in the last five years? Four. What are the total amount of days you have spent outside of the United States in the last five years? Uh, 26. Okay, now please answer yes or no to the following questions. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with the Communist Party? No. Any other totalitarian party? No. A terrorist organization? No. Uh, what is communism? Uh, no freedom. Si te gustaría informarte de cómo son las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, dónde tendrás tu entrevista, te invito a que nos sigas en nuestro segundo canal de YouTube, Citizens Ahora. En este segundo canal ponemos experiencias todos los días de diferentes partes del país. Puede ser que una de estas experiencias te dé información que tú necesitas para tu entrevista. Así que no olvides, síguenos en nuestro segundo canal de experiencias, Citizens Ahora. Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? No. Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? No. Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Wait until I finish all of the questions, okay? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. No. Were you ever a member of or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization? No. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prison or jail, prison camp, detention facility, labor camp, any other place where people were forced to stay? No. Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? No. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? No. Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age 
To serve in or help an armed force or group? No. Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? No. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? No. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. Sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. Been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. Helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Mm -mm. No. Failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. Made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. What is a habitual drunkard? It's someone who drinks too much alcohol. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. What is deported? Uh, deported is when the federal government expels you from the United States. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? No. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? Yes. Okay. Did you register for the Selective Service? Yes, I did. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. What is the form of government of the United States? Uh, the United States is a democratic republic. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. What is an oath of allegiance? It's a promise to be loyal to the United States. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. On the screen of the tablet here, you're going to see some documents with your information. Okay. You're going to scroll to the bottom to verify that everything is correct. Okay. You're going to sign three times. To begin signing, press the pink button at the bottom of the screen. Okay.
Congratulations. At this moment, I am going to recommend your application as approved. Thank you. ¿Qué te pareció la demostración? ¿Se te hizo fácil? ¿Se te hizo difícil? Déjanos saber en los comentarios. Si encontraste que este video te resultó siquiera un poco útil, no olvides dejarnos tu like. Si quieres obtener la transcripción de esta clase, recuerda ahí vas a encontrar el link en la descripción. También lo pondremos en el primer comentario. Y si te gustaría tener la ayuda de nuestro equipo en tu preparación, ahí está nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. Nos vemos en el próximo video. Mucha suerte en tu proceso de ciudadanía. Chao.